It's loud, it's powerful, and it rules the forest. The chainsaw has revolutionized the logging industry by replacing mortal muscle with mechanical torque. It's made the work a whole lot easier, so it continues to be a rip-roaring success. The chainsaw can set up any tree for a big fall and then chop it up. These machines start with the plastic housing. Three aluminum inserts will be molded into it to provide solid anchors to attach other parts. A robot picks up the inserts one at a time and delivers them to an injection molding machine. The robot strategically places the inserts in a mold at the front of the machine. The machine then injects melted plastic into the mold to make the chainsaw's engine cover. During the molding, the metal inserts become integrated into the housing. It takes just seconds to transform these plastic pellets into a chainsaw engine cover. The robot carries each engine cover to automated cutters that remove any unwanted bits of plastic. The scrap drops into a bin below. A robot then places each engine cover in a special fixture to cool for about 10 minutes. Then it moves the part to the next station. There's one more piece of plastic housing, the fuel tank. This sonic welder melts and fuses it to the engine cover using high frequency vibrations. Now they move to the engine and install a spring system for the starter cord. They slide the two-stroke engine into the plastic casing and they pop in a spark plug. They lubricate the crankshaft, then install an automatic oiling system for the saw chain. They attach the carburetor and the starter system with the pull cord handle. They fit an air filter into its slot. Then they dip stud bolts for the chain bar and adhesive and screw them into the inserts molded into the plastic housing. They attach the rear handle and a trigger with a safety release. Then they screw the front handle into place. They attach a filter to the oil line that lubricates the bar and chain. It will strain out any impurities. Now they install bearings and the clutch system on the crankshaft. The clutch is the link between the engine and chain. When it's engaged, the chain moves around the cutting bar. The engine is ready for a test run at typical speed, 8,000 RPM. They adjust the carburetor so that it mixes the right amount of gas and air and check the exhaust to make sure it doesn't exceed pollution laws. They attach the trademark sticker and other operational information. Then they attach a brake system. Finally, they pack the metal bar and chain blade in a protective sleeve. Once the operator installs the chain blade, he has a power tool with teeth for any job, no matter how you slice it. 